Hello everyone, my name is Martin and in this quick tutorial I will show you how to configure uh, Atavism client. First of all we need to uh, login into apanel.atavismonline.com website and we need to download proper packages to uh, install and import them into Unity. So we need to open my downloads section and uh, for the time for this tutorial uh, the newest Atavism version is 10.4.0 so let's narrow it down from the drop-down list let's select our version and we need to uh, download one of the uh, Unity package in this case we have core and demo version uh, of course the more recommended version is the demo one uh, where we have all uh, models um, Enviro uh, day and night uh, cycle weather system models, uh, mobs, uh, and a lot of examples um, within our project. So uh, we will download this one and uh, it, it basically, uh, it's basically nearly 6 gigabytes uh, file, so I will skip this process. Uh, then we need to download one of the Atavism standalone editor. We have we have editor for Windows, macOS, and Linux. So in this case, I'm using Windows operating system. So I will download this Windows version, and that's pretty much it. So we need two uh, two files. We need Atavism Unity client version and Atavism standalone editor in this case, uh, in my case, it will be for Windows. So I'm starting the download process and we will see in a few minutes. Okay, so uh, I have my uh, I have my package downloaded and uh, I have my Atavism editor for Windows. So um, Let's just uh, start from the Unity package. So now we need to create uh, our Unity project. So let's open Unity Hub. And we will be using the lowest possible Unity version uh, supported by this um, uh, Unity, by this Atavism version. So in this case, it will be 2019 Point four, point zero. But you can use any uh, newer version, Unity version, uh, depending on your preferences. Uh, it's important to select uh, 3D project uh, and not install any additional HDRP or URP uh, versions, because by default Atavism demo package has uh, a lot of shaders and uh, they are designed to work only with standard rendering pipeline. So let's call this project tutorial and let's select our location, project location, projects and let's click create. So the project should be uh, created and then we will be importing our Atavism Unity package into it. Now let's import our package into the project. So I'm just dragging the uh, using drag and drop to import this package. Uh, it can take a while depending on your hardware uh, because the package is as you can see nearly 6 gigabytes so it can take a while to unpack and import it. So once the unpacking process is over, uh, the list of new files should be presented and uh, 
we can click import button at the bottom. So once the import uh, is completed, uh, we now need to click setup button and uh, Atavism will automatically set up our project. And as you can see, we have information that uh, Atavism setup was successful. So we can click OK. And now we should be able to clear our console logs here. So our Atavism uh, project inside Unity is already set up. We can verify it by heading into layers. Uh, we should be able to see layers like targetable, minimap, socket and so on. As well as we can open our build settings and we should have our scenes in the build settings as well. So now let's uh, handle our Atavism standalone editor. So let's install it. And let's start it. So as you can see, I have no profiles here yet. So let's create one. Let's click plus button. Let's name our project profile like tutorial project. And uh, we need to select our project directory. So let's click choose folder and we need to navigate to our project. So in this case, projects tutorial. Let's click select. And we need to fill in our database credentials. So let's say uh, 01 it's because it's uh, uh, similar to localhost it's similar to localhost uh, because i'm using uh, atavism windows manager for my server installation default mysql port is 3306 and my database credentials are also uh, default ones so atavism atavism Let's test my connection and it seems it works fine. It works fine. So let's populate other databases, database credentials with the same data. So let's click fill others and now we can test other connections as well. Let's click save and then let's switch back to our uh, Unity project and here we need to open our uh, Unity Atavism editor so let's click window Atavism Atavism editor and here we can click reload config and our database credentials should be uh, populated with the ones that we set in our Atavism standalone editor so we can test this connection and it should work as well. Now we just need to open our scene, our login scene. So let's navigate to Dragon Sun scenes. Let's double click on login scene. And in the Atavism core, we should populate our, should set our master server with our Atavism server. So in this case, I don't have to do this because uh, I'm using localhost and it uh, it will be automatically set as localhost if it's empty, but I can set it as as well and it should work. So let's click, let's save the scene. Uh, in case you are using different ports for your server or uh, different prefab server as well, you can set it. But in my case, as I'm using default ports and uh, uh, if 
not prefab server field will be populated, but will, will be set here. It will use the same uh, the same server, the same IP or address or uh, domain name as uh, is set in the master server field. So let's enter runtime and let's see if it works. Let's register a new user. Tutorial. Let's create the account. Let's click login. And as you can see, let's let me maximize it. We can create our character. Let's create one and let's enter the world. And in the world we can get some quest, we can complete it. We can use merchants. We can equip our armor our weapon so as you can see everything works fine and the setup was uh, pretty simple that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one bye bye